हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इंडियन एजुकेशनल रिफॉर्मर्स एंड क्रिटिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ओवरव्यू ऑफ इंडियन एजुकेशनल रिफॉर्म अर्ली एजुकेशनल रिफॉर्मर्स नेशनलिस्ट एजुकेशनल रिफॉर्मर्स ब्रिटिश क्रिटिक्स एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स वुमेन एजुकेशनल रिफॉर्मर्स एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड मूवमेंट्स एंड लास्टली कंक्लूजन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द ओवरव्यू ऑफ इंडियन एजुकेशनल रिफॉर्म द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन एजुकेशन इज मार्क्ड बाय अ रिच टेपेस्ट्री ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल लर्निंग सिस्टम्स विच अंडर वेंट सिग्निफिकेंट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अंडर ब्रिटिश रूल ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स प्राइमरिली गुरु शिष्य दैट इज टीचर स्टूडेंट बेस्ड वर प्रेवलेंट बिफोर द ब्रिटिश एरा focusing on religious and philosophical teachings along with practical skills the british introduced western education in the 19th century establishing schools and colleges that taught european literature science and philosophy with an emphasis on english as a medium of instruction This introduction aimed not only to educate but also to create a class of people as Macaulay's minute of 1835 suggested Indian in blood and color but English in taste in opinions in morals and in intellect Now let's discuss about early educational reformers first is Raja Ramohan Roy a pioneer in modern Indian education Roy advocated for a scientific and rational approach to learning challenging traditional hindu orthodoxy he suggested english education believing it was a means to scientific knowledge and intellectual liberation his efforts led to the establishment of the hindu college in calcutta in 1870 ishwar chandra vidya sagar renowned for his efforts in women's education vidya sagar was instrumental in opening the doors of schools and colleges to girls in the mid 19th century He was a key figure in modernizing Bengali language and literature making education more accessible to the masses Jyoti Rao Phule Phule's work was ground breaking in making education available to women and lower caste He opened the first school for girls in Pune in 1848 challenging the prevailing social norms and laying the foundation for social reform movements across India Nationalist educational reformers first is Bal Gangadhar Tilak known for his assertive stance on Indian self rule Tilak also emphasized education as a tool for national awakening he established schools that provided education in the marathi language and incorporated teachings about indian culture and history fostering a sense of national pride Gopal Krishna Gokhale a moderate leader in the Indian National Congress Gokhale saw education as a vehicle for societal reform he pushed for free and compulsory primary education to ensure that education reached the underprivileged sections of society his role in founding the servants of india society was pivotal in promoting social and educational reform rabindranath tagore tagore's contribution to education was profound and unique he founded shanti niketan an institution that challenged conventional methods by focusing on a holistic and nature immersive learning environment tagore's vision was to blend the best of eastern and western educational philosophies making learning a joyous and creative process now let's discuss about british critics and administrators first is thomas babington macaulay his 1835 minute on indian education established English as the medium of instruction in higher education. Macaulay's vision was to create a class of anglicized Indians who would serve as cultural intermediaries between the British and the Indians. Lord Curzon, as the Viceroy of India, Curzon implemented significant reforms in the Indian education system. His policies focused on improving the standards of university education, initiating systematic procedures and promoting research. Charles Wood's dispatch often considered a foundational document for modern education in India the dispatch of 1854 laid down the blueprint for educational infrastructure including universities in Bombay Madras and Calcutta and emphasized vocational and women's education moving on to women educational reformers Savitri Bai Phule a trail blazer in women's education in India Phule along with her husband Jyoti Rao Phule 
opened the first school for girls in Pune in 1848. She faced severe opposition and social ostracism but persisted in her efforts to educate women. Pandita Ramabai, a social reformer and scholar, Ramabai played a significant role in advancing the cause of women's education and emancipation in the late 19th century. She established educational institutions for women and championed the rights of widows and oppressed women. Begum Rokeya, a pioneering figure in advocating for the education of Muslim women, Rokeya challenged traditional norms and established schools for girls in Kolkata. Her work was crucial in opening doors of education for Muslim women at a time when they were largely confined domestic spaces. Educational Institutions and Movement The establishment of major universities in Bombay, Calcutta and Madras under British rule marked a significant shift in higher education. These institutions became centers of learning, imparting Western education and later becoming platforms for nationalist ideas and movements. The Arya Samaj founded by Dayanand Saraswati played a crucial role in promoting education that combined traditional Vedic learning with modern subjects. Its schools and colleges aimed at reforming Hindu society and countering missionary education. The Theosophical Society, with its emphasis on a blend of Eastern and Western philosophies, also contributed to the educational and cultural renaissance in India. Lastly, moving on to the conclusion, the legacy of these reformers and the institutions they established is profound, shaping the landscape of modern Indian education. Their collective efforts led to a system that, while rooted in traditional values, is also open to progressive and global ideas. Despite significant progress, contemporary Indian education faces challenges like quality disparity, access issues and the need for curriculum modernization. The ideals of these reformers continue to inspire ongoing educational reforms. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims-based practice question. Who advocated for English education in India and played a pivotal role in the establishment of the Hindu College in Calcutta in 1817? Raja Ramohan Roy, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, Jyoti Rao Phule or Bal Gangadhar Tilak. And now May's practice question. Discuss the evolution of the Indian education system from traditional methods to modern education under British rule. Highlight the contributions of early educational reformers, nationalist educational reformers and women educational reformers in shaping the educational landscape of India. Analyze the impact of British critics and administrators on Indian education. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.